And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tom Kench Sea Monsters. It's going to be our next Meme Tier Monday deck. It's our last Meme Tier Monday deck. This is a fun day. We're going to finish it out with a fun one. So basically what we have is we have a deck that looks like a normal deep deck. But we got some spice in here. We got Tom Kench, which as y'all know, this is the newest champion that I'm sure you've seen a lot of so far. For the most part, Tom Kench is usually going to be trying to just use the acquired taste and eat all of your opponent's units, your enemy units, right? Like, that's what you're thinking about with this card. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be combining this also with Bayou Brunch. We got a couple of combos with Bayou Brunch. We're playing all three copies of Bayou Brunch. So we're going to try to, we're going to be combining Tom Kench with, uh, we're going to be trying to eat our own shipwreck orders. That's going to be one, one combo. Tom Kench, eat the shipwreck hoarder, level up, spit the shipwreck hoarder back out, and we can get even more treasures. So we can just kind of have a cool little combo though there, uh, get a bunch of treasures, have like this be a 10-7 to grow Tom Kench a bunch. That's a cool little combo there. We also have um, the ability to have Dead, Dead Bloom Wander eat a big sea monster, and then... Um, have just an absolutely huge lifesteal thing we're playing against aggro. You know, maybe we have, you know, like a, you know, just, you know, huge, huge lifesteal thing. That's a cool thing. But then finally, to, to finish games out, we got three Abyssal Eyes in here. Abyssal Eye can also buy you brunch and eat something and, and have a really big elusive. So, you know, we could, like one of these things, um, make a huge elusive and finish them with that. So that's another option with our buy you brunch. Um, besides just having Tom Kench in play and eating stuff and spitting it back out. We also have Sap Magic, two copies of this to be able to heal, our, heal all allies three, because it does toss, so that, that does go with our whole tossing stuff. But then healing the allies three, that's our way to kind of heal a damaged Tom Kench that has been acquiring some tastes. Um, so that's something there. Um, no atrocity in here. That's that's one thing that I thought was that that kind of looks a little weird. We'll see if if we end up missing atrocity, um, but it looks like we're gonna be a little bit better against aggro. We got vile feast and make it rain, so that looks pretty good. I like that. Uh, but yeah, let's let's give this a try. All right, so Tom Kench Sea Monsters. We're gonna just go play over in normal, being our meme tier deck. Hopefully, we get to um, get extra treasures. That's the that's the goal. What do you guys think of using Bayou Brunch on a Bubble Bear to boost a unit's defense? I like it. Any any way you can think of using a Bubble Bear, I'm in. Bubble Bear is awesome. It's it's also just like the it's like the coolest card name to say. Bubble Bear. It's fun to say. No, Bayou Brunch. That's also a good one. Buy you brunch a bubble bear. Is there another double B word? Buy you brunch a bubble bear to boost a. We need another card name with two Bs. <laughs> Keep that alliteration going. All right, we'll just take out this green glade caretaker. Rangers resolve. Bark Beast, there you go. That's there you go. Who goes there? That works. So we're going to buy you brunch a bubble bear to boost a bark beast. <laughs> What do we just toss? So we've tossed two Slaughter Docks. Yeah, or Babbling Bjerg. Babbling Bjerg works as well. So Bubble Bear and B Bubble Bear and Babbling Bjerg had a Bayou brunch with Bark Beast. <laughs> the balance requires a watchful eye. I've been propagating quite the appetite. Alright, let's... We're gonna need to try to eat this Shen. I find them unworthy. Two. 
Gonna play this. I'm sure they have some fight spells to take down. My Tom Kench. Like that. Nature blesses her followers. With the bees, you're all I see. Nature blesses her. Alright, only one card left. Now Shen's back to three health. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Alright, hopefully it works this time. No. Young Witch, Green Glade Caretaker, those are the most important ones. That's a good draw. Come on, Rib. I sense an imbalance. Who goes there? Nature blesses her followers. Yuck. Come on in. All right, Shen gone. So I want to play Dead, Dead Bloom Wanderer, but that just doesn't use my mana very well. So we'll play this thing first. Appetizers of brilliantly. Seven away from deep. All right, not quite there. Attack. My life for these lands. So we get to heal our Nexus for three. That's not the worst. Excuse my impertinence. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised they didn't block the 3 2 also. Let us peruse this established we need a Bayou Brunch for this Tom Kench, which we have our three Bayou Brunches plus two extra Tom Kenches. Um, that or the the Sap Magic, that would be good too. We need something like that. So we need one of those eight cards. Not 18. Um, but I guess, I guess we could have been tossing some of them. I'm not sure how many, many of those we tossed. I think we tossed. Two Bayou Brunches. No, he tossed two Slaughter Docks. One Bayou Brunch. You got nowhere to go. Oh, no. Nature blesses her followers. Oh, no. I guess we'll play two of these. Kill the 13-1. And now I got two blockers. So do I block? I'm not sure if this block's worth it. I don't... I guess so. Like, I don't really see why not. I mean, you know, it goes down to two health, sure. That's probably worth it still. Where there's a will, there's a meal. So two away from deep still. Gonna play the shipwreck hoarder, which does the uh, two toss. So now we're deep. Wow, 
Wow, let me draw. Cool. Took the plate worm plate worm egg. Did we toss her out of the bayou brunch. There's Bayou Brunch. <clears throat> this way. Uh so hopefully they do not challenge my elusive. Hopefully. Well, I guess that won't kill the elusive. No. They figured it out. Actually, win. It, we actually win. Just tack in with a bunch of eight eights, I guess. Having atrocity would make this a lot easier. So the twenty-one, the twenty-seven, one blocks Nautilus. Then these all have to get blocked by, like these things. I'm I'm considering having my my life steal thing eat the ten eight, and make this a thirteen ten, instead of a ten eight. So one of the 8-8s dies to the 9-9. Nine -nine. Like Crazy, their one drop just trades with Nautilus. A 27-1. Duty, selflessness, heavy burden. <laughs> salvage, salvage, jettison. There's some card draw. Who does not know the name Laurent? So Shen's gonna level up. Oh my gosh. They are under my protection. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, that's hopefully we get that treasure. The five damage thing. We know one of these six cards is another treasure, because we've seen we saw one treasure. Any of the treasures would be good. Okay, it got it gets two barriers. Oh right, there's two bright seal protectors, it gets two barriers. Yeah, like they're all they're all lethal. Just gotta block them all, it doesn't matter. What blocks what? Killbreaker kills three things right now. Guess we just do right away. I don't think we need to wait. Alright, so now we have uh, two more treasures out of these six cards. I'm hoping to draw treasures. Alright, all three of the treasures are, are awesome. Sweet. Home, Alabama. All right, we're going to go ahead and cast this before combat. I don't think we need to. Like, we attack, they block with Shen. Let's play this first. Let's see what we get. 
Unyielding spirit? I didn't even block. GG's. Didn't even get to use my cool cards. My unyielding spirit and everything. GG's. I like this. Toys of Fate and Vi. I like those two together a lot. Played a lot of Toys of Fate Vi decks. Why would I mulligan De Dead Bloom Wanderer? I wonder if they're playing the Twisted University deck from just a day or two ago um, that we played on stream. That Twisted University is a sweet deck, and that was Twisted Fate Vi for the champions. I hope so. That deck's awesome. Let's see if we... Um, I was playing Jury Rig. I don't know if that's the best use of Jury Rig. I think I'd probably just pass. How did we win that? Treasures. Yeah. This could be that deck. Twisted University, I haven't. You know, everything they've played so far. So in case of Twisted Fate here, you don't want to play this. Keep Jaw Hunters available. Up for a round or two. Dead in their tracks. You're going to then have Jaw Hunters challenge Running Twisted Fate. Golden glory. Going harvesting. Cool. We'll take that. So we both have five cards in hand. Their board's a little bit better, but we're doing our thing. Okay, that card's good. Good play by them. Good play. Let me show you a little slot of hand. Nothing Another good play. These hands. They're playing this quite well. Hold it, partner. I wanted to see if we would do damage to Twisted Fate with that. We've got two Twisted Fates down. Nothing but the stink of glory and sweat. This honestly may be Twisted University. Get bloody, get paid. Something that costs one or two mana. Uh, not exactly that. But not exactly that. I don't need a plan. Trouble coming at ya. Let's get to it. So we had to go, we had to go with the jury rig, or sorry, we had to go with whatever that card's called <laughs> that we just played, um, Jettison. We had to go with the Jettison to grow that up. Okay, we got one out of the three cards. There's three cards that we wanted to hit with that. We got one out of the three. Let that make it rain. To save the day. We got leveled up Vi.
Yes, it is. Twisted University. Awesome. Dude, Twisted University is sweet. So now they just get another three cards a turn. That deck is sweet. Oh, that's true. The, the Toad dying. But when, if I would have played the Dead Bloom Wanderer, they may not have challenged the Toad like that. We don't know. We don't know what they would have done. So I can either heal this three or play the Slaughter Docks. I'm going to just play the Slaughter Docks, considering that thing's already vulnerable. What we get? Hopefully Shipwreck Order. Ah. The weakest sea monster. Buy you brunch. Justice first hand. Freeze. Trouble coming at ya. So we're taking ten going down to seven. Wow. All right, down to one. University of Piltover is so good. Crazy. Um, so if I go Abyssal Eye right now, we can, you know, try to attack them, like beginning of combat. Yeah, I guess we just do that. I guess we just play that and wander. Welcome to my humble estate. Ah, get excited. GG's. Awesome deck. Ole, 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 ole. Alright, we'll just keep our Jaw Hunters make it rain. Yeah. Yeah, University of Piltover is good. Yep. I don't know why anybody would think it wouldn't be good. It's five mana, and it says draw three cards every single turn. How can that card not be good? But as you saw with like that deck right there, you don't have to play it with like Jinx and discard stuff like it, or like. Well, I guess, you know, there is a lot of discard stuff in there. I mean, PNZ just has a lot of discard stuff, but you don't have to play it with, like, Jinx to, to make it good. Looking for trouble? It found you. No, I wasn't looking for any trouble, though. That's so small, but she ain't lacking courage. I think I saw her at the used ship emporium. Set sail. Love ya. I'm gonna keep this Omen Hawk out here. I kind of want to have like my two spell mana still. Oh, another parlay. Rats. I've been propagating quite the appetite. Hey, dragon. A true failure. I'm glad you're able to catch the stream. <laughs> well, I guess we wanted to make it rain to do that. That's what we wanted the whole time. Oh, you're cute when you're armed. Firepower's always in style. Oh, I don't require a menu. 
I think you're on the menu, Tom Kench. On the hired guns menu. Guns blaze. All right, so we're going with the Vile Feast on this thing. Try to save some life. And I'll pass. We'll see if they have something that would kill Tom Kench that maybe we would then save Tom Kench with the sap magic. You know, like we're keeping all that spell mana. If if we weren't keeping all the spell mana, then we would maybe play some jettisons. How far away are we? Eleven. Eleven's a little ways away. Yeah, we got wrecked real bad by the Noxus Arena card with the Undyings earlier. We got wrecked real bad with that. Make it, interesting, it just you know, basically ended the game by itself. We couldn't do anything. Let us peruse this establishment fair. We could just trade off the injured Tom Kench now. We got a new one. This is gonna be the third attack with Misfortune already. A lot of jettisons. Alright, going deep. That Tom Kench was not only injured, but also just always vulnerable. play a new Tom Kench that's not injured nor vulnerable. I really hope they're not just playing Citrus Courier. Okay, good. I was definitely scared of Citrus Courier. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Need to eat this misfortune before she levels up because she's at three out of four. Chomp. Shipwreck order. That card's great. That was the card they took from me. We have um, four champions left in our deck out of the eight cards. No. Appetizers of plenty. There we go, there's one. That will put back some sea monsters for us. Like some shipwreck orders. So now we're, we'll get all of our sea monsters back. So now we only have... Our entire deck consists only of sea monsters and champions. I want Shipwreck Hoarder as my best draw, because then that puts treasures in the deck. I'm sure there's something for my Nautilus is not a bad draw, either. Forward. Forward. Yes, detain, detain does ca ca count as a capture for Tom Kench. Yes.
Yeah, nab nabbing my shipwreck order is pretty good. Get their own treasures. Stop stealing my treasure. Get your own treasure. Pirates. Cool. Just reshuffle another Nautilus back in. Redraw Nautilus. I will I'll take that. You know, drawing Nautilus every turn for the rest of the game, probably pretty decent. Like if that's all we draw. Yeah, that, that one treasure did eat up a lot of resources from me. Oh, I don't require a menu. Yay, ship recorder. Get our own treasures. So now our deck has two Nautilus, one Tom Kench, and two treasures. So that's five cards. We want to draw those five cards. And we also have two other sea monsters. Don't really want to draw those. Ouch. Hey, Rainbow. Makes sense they're holding on to Frostbite. As like cards that, you know, they're just holding on to, not doing anything, that makes sense. All right, get a treasure. Abyssal Eye. <laughs> That's one of the two, the two cards we don't want to draw. Which I guess they both have to be Abyssal Eyes. That's the other two cards, because they're not Shipwreck orders and they're sea monsters, so that's that's the only other card, so. I guess we know what all the cards are. Okay. Uh, so we'll have you block there. And then you block, you block. Because with the Thorny Toe blocking, we'll toss two. And so it's got to be treasure. We have two treasures and one abyssal eye, so we got to, you know, draw some treasures here. Awesome! Thanks, Rainbow. Yeah, well, welcome, welcome on over here. Treasure trove. I should have played it because they may just concede here. I should have just played this first. Awesome, cool, Rainbow. Yeah, had some good times over there with Magic, but yeah, playing at Legends of Runeterra now. <laughs> they don't. I don't have anything to nab. I'm out of. I'm out of nabable cards. See, that's how you. That's how you beat nab. You toss all of your all of your cards that they can nab out of the deck. So you just only have three champions left. Um, I don't have a Darius. Um, let's see if we hit the invoke. What we missed? Oh, we're, that's so unlucky. So unlucky. Uh, let's heal you, Seven. Yeah, we didn't hit the Targon Allegiance. I thought for sure we were going to. Right, we we'll get Flame Chompas. There's plenty of killing left. I'll scrutinize something scrumptious. Ha! We're playing Detain with Tom Kench. That's smart. <laughs> All right, next turn. I'm sure there's something for my taste. We'll eat up the misfortune. Come on in. Yeah, we got kind of unlucky with no rally with the Darius and no invoke. I know we missed two things there. Put the black market merchant back in so they can have their nab back. Because we have one Tom Kench, one Nautilus. 
I guess maybe it's just two. Actually, no, we don't have any Tom Kenches left, so it's just two Nautilus left in our deck. River always provides. All right, there we go. GG's. Tom Kench and the Sea Monsters. That sounds like a band name. Tom Kench with Ash. Trying to freeze all of our stuff before eating, which could work pretty well. That could work pretty well. We'll have to like, look for some kind of removal for their Tom Kench, which is probably our own Tom Kench. I could see their Tom Kench just taking over and dominating this game. Hopefully not. No, two shipwreck orders. No, that's my favorite card. These treasures have been awesome. Yeah, Poro Legacy, we were playing a, a PNZ and Freljord Poro deck with a bunch of daring Poros. You know, um, with the new Poro Cannon to go along with also Daryl Poro, and then Iceborne Legacy to be able to give the Daring Poros plus two, plus two. That was the plan. We didn't play too much Iceborne Legacy in the deck, but that was the plan with it. I will just get the, the landmark in play right away to start the process of tossing. And hopefully taking down a Starlet Seer. So yeah, Rainbow, if you're new, or if anybody, you know, you or just anybody else newer to the channel, you do have the YouTube channel right there, youtube.com slash hawktie, where I put up all the replays. So what I do here with uh, Legends of Terror, I'm playing four decks every day. And um, so lots of really cool decks that you can find over there. Considered, like, if they would have passed, I would have passed also, cause then, you know, maybe just try to buy you brunch and make that Jaw Hunters larger. In Avarosa's name. Oh, it was a consideration. Give me the stuff. Stuff me. <laughs> All right, let's keep tossing. We're eight away Our from deep. It is expensively unique. Yeah, I don't really know how we're going to deal with that that Tom Kench, to be honest. I don't know. Especially their frostbite and everything. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think Deep's pretty good. We're, we're going with, like, a, you know, a janky version of Deep with... Uh, Tom Kench in here. That's maybe not the the most. Um, the most efficient version. Alright, so we're gonna be playing the Sap Magic just to toss three so that these landmarks are gonna be putting in some sea monsters. So we can go deep. want ship recorders. Yeah. Get those treasures. Another ship recorder. Yes, treasure trove. It's working. Uh, not a ship recorder. But still, we got to draw a treasure trove. Treasure trove could find something, mayhaps, that can deal with Tom Kench. Yeah, I... I, um... Just reading the card and everything, I thought that Slaughter Docks kind of sounded pretty slow, but honestly, it's looked really, really good. Just like even see here, you know, like just a three-man investment, you're getting these things in play, and in play at not, um, not too terribly late in the game or anything. I've been really impressed with how the card plays in practice. If I go Shipwreck Hoarder next turn, we're at nine mana, so not quite Treasure Trove and Abyssal Eye. Um, I kind of want to go another shipwreck order though. 
I just want more opportunities for treasures as fast as possible. something that deals with Tom Kench. We give something spell shield. We can grab a nine drop. Are there any good nine drops? Oh no, our other kill breaker got tossed. We hit three treasures. No, is that another? That's two kill breakers. Two kill breakers would have been good. Okay, your next donation is actually going to be Shivana, Tom Kench with a full set of Bayou Brunch and summon effects from Demacia. I like it. Bitter cold. We live here. Yeah, the treasure got like tossed for reals. So we get an eight drop. Come along. There's room for An auspicious season. Get that thing, spell shield. You could be so much more. Whoa, <laughs> Captain Farron. I desire a different flavor. Appetizers of plenty. Oh, is the spell shield. Oh, the spell shield was only this round, or did it go away or something? That spell shield's only this round? Oh, that card's really not very good. I guess it makes sense for that card to be spell shield just one round, though. Excuse my impertinence. This would be a good winter! The water rises! Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. See how handsome I can only eat one thing a turn. So two things a turn being frostbitten, they can only eat one of them. Ice runs in our veins. Oh, I don't require a menu. Yeah, we're gonna have to go, uh, Keel Breaker. But they, all right, so we got them down to 12. I got three Decimates. I can just go Decimate, Decimate, and go for that. I don't think they're gonna really have any Nexus healing, right? Might as well just do the Keel Breaker, though. And then one decimate, and then next turn we can do a couple more.
even though they're eating stuff, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure we got this. Like, I, I don't really see us losing right now. Kind of want to just draw more Nautilus. And so, the more I toss, the easier it is to draw Nautilus. There we go. This is how they could win. I was sick. Man. I didn't want to jinx it. I didn't want to say that how we lose is them getting drawing Ash. I didn't want to jinx it. So, like, they have a lethal lethal attack right now. How are these things all so big? These Omen Hawks? So, if they have one Frostbite card, I'm dead. Come on, just let just attack. No. Mm. Ash is so good. Yeah, I had to decimate last. I guess. Yeah, I guess I just needed to double decimate last turn instead of do the five damage. I guess that's that's how because they wouldn't have played Ash last turn. So I go decimate, decimate. Then they play Ash, and then I decimate. But yeah, that was probably winnable. That was the only... By playing the 5 damage spell, that was like the one iteration of how we lost was them going Ash and then also a Frost Wind, you know, Harsh Winds or something like that, but... They did, I lost. All right, so we finally put something out, so we'll see what kind of interaction they have. Yeah, that probably should have been a win. Yeah, Star Spring does work with Braum. Yep, Star Spring works with regeneration. Yep, so yeah, you, you regenerate your units. That sure counts as uh, life. Or, yeah, that counts as healing. So I pass, they. Maybe it is passing. I'm thinking like Jaw Hunters make it rain. You know, Jaw Hunters acquire taste. Let us peruse this establishment fair. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. So they go deny, but I get an acquired taste every single turn. They can't just deny every turn. All right, like you would think not. Hey, Dragon Gift in a sub to Furpnan, and then also Rainbow. We had two subs back to back. Got us to our sub goal. That means we're going to have some bonus games today. Thanks, y'all. I could see blocking with the Tom Kench on that 2 1. I want to be opposed to that. Yeah. <laughs> We got there. So that means, okay, so whenever we hit our sub goal, each day that we do, that means we just play some bonus games afterwards. So this won't be the last game. We're going to play some bonus games. And y'all can usually like help pick out decks and stuff like that. We'll play some, some more fun decks. So we're going to play some bonus games. Can't they just deny this into perpetuity? By playing the Dredge Dredgers last turn, it meant that I had the mana to be able to play this and play Shipwreck Order this turn. Okay, Tom Kench down. Excuse my impertinence. I 
think we're going to shipwreck order. I want to draw those treasures. Definitely a big mistake I had the last game was playing that dredge dredgers whenever, and you know, we got the three treasures, and then my other one was, was burned. That was a big mistake from last game. Seven away from deep still. I'll level up timer. Oh, I for I know. I just I honestly like everything else going on. Everything I honestly just forgot about Jaw Hunters. That definitely should have challenged the Heimerdinger. I just forgot about that. Whoops, that's my bad. Yeah, there's no reason not to do that. All right, save this two mana. So if I say, so I want to save the two mana because I want this two mana to be acquired taste on Tom Kench. Oh, we need we need one more mana though because I need to be able to cast Jettison. So, I mean, I guess I only get to play one Abyssalai, not two. I was kind of planning on playing two Abyssalai, but I guess we only have room for one anyway. So, we'll go Jettison plus one Abyssalai. And then we have Acquire Taste. It's smaller than the diagram. I guess I'll just go with this. See what they do. More nullifies. Find just one point two one gigahertz. Kind of think of it. I wonder if this is also my Heimer Karma list that we played like yesterday or the day before. Also, it may be. I had two nullifies. Every card they played was something I had in there. Stare at the abyss. It'll stare back. I'm not sure if it's really worth attacking with my other stuff and just letting them block and then, you know, like they're gonna play more spells and then like they'll just have room. Like they're gonna have to replace these things anyway. So I don't really know if it's worth attacking with anything else besides obviously my elusive attacking in. And then challenge. Set the hooks! So six mana gives them the elusive. Cool, take a shipwreck order. I like that, especially with it costing four less. So I still feel pretty confident about us winning this game. I'm sure there's something for my taste. <clears throat> Not quite as confident. Where there is life, there is hope. So I'm I'm planning on like tossing a bunch and trying to get again trying to get my deck size down to where I'm basically just holding Nautilus um, and only Nautilus and we keep on just drawing Nautilus and you have that as Riptide. On against these things. But yeah, like they have to attack, they need to clear room. But for myself, I wouldn't necessarily mind a clear go. space anyway with these one mana abyssal eyes. Game three. And also treasure trove. Together at last. So we'll 
play some. We'll play Abyssal Eye. Yeah, we'll tr probably try to eat Himes. Himes 57. Zero mana. Dawn and Dusk and Steel Tempest. The cards in hand are better than Steel Tempest. But I kind of figure Steel Tempest would be pretty good. Alright, what do they got? Deep Meditation. Make... Some three mana Heimers. They'll fill up their hand. They probably only draw one card there, and then the rest get obliterated. Yeah. Good obliterate that rummage. Whoa. Karma's inside of Ages for one card. Chomps. So they just got rid of a Steel Tempest. I got these things. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Yeah, it's true. It's not my list because yeah, I, I didn't have. I, I didn't. I don't think I played Steel Tempest. And yeah, I didn't have Rummage. I don't really see anything to do here. Let us this establishment fair. We find another um, Tom Kench or just a Bayou Brunch. We'll eat a 10 8 and then clear up a. Bot like that. The dragon remembers. Within my grasp. Right, like I don't like I Do we have Nautilus block? Nautilus goes down to seven. I don't want Nautilus to die. I guess we do. Yes, if if Hoarder gets released from Tom Kench, it gets you more treasures. And that's kind of what our, our deck's kind of about, is like buy you brunch, shipwreck Hoarder, get more treasures. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. Huh. Didn't get another Nautilus. Close enough. Cool. Got big Tom Kench. has captured Heimerdinger. This has captured Shipwreck Order. Why did I say this has? But then Tom has. I guess because the, the Bayou Brunch can be on anything. doesn't have to be on Tom Kench. Cease. And they've already attacked. Can play the Slaughter Docks. We're just going to wait though. So they keep running out of room. That's why they're they're playing two Flash of Brilliance, but they're only getting one turret because they're running out of room in hand, so they don't get the second turret. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Let's do this first. I know. 
We have so many treasures. So stand united with karma doesn't work. Because <laughs> you cast two stand united, so you just put them back where they were. You had your chance to walk away. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. <laughs> it's a good try, though. It's a good try. All right, so Tom Crunch levels up. We get some more treasures. Two Heimerdinger spit out, so those are obliterated. Gone for good. I guess we didn't toss two and shuffle two, or like there just wasn't two cards to toss. So just put two two treasures in. <laughs> Worst three card monster ever. <laughs> oh, I was gonna do the Tom Kench. Tip your cap. That was a pretty sweet game. Now we dies. This deck was pretty cool. Record could have been better. Um, you know, I, I should have won that game four, but yes, yeah, so that was that was pretty cool. See, so, like we didn't. We didn't have a great way of finishing games, of winning games. Like, you know, we didn't have Atrocity in here. So, like, Atrocity just, like, ends the game and then, you know, like, the game's over. Instead, we played, like, an extra, like, six turns of us doing cool stuff every game. So that was more fun because, like, you know, Atrocity is not fun. It just ends the game. But I guess I think I would, I think Make It Rain probably should be Atrocity if you want to make it, you know, more, more competitive or, you know, if you want to just win games. I guess that's the thing. I think that, like, the Make It Rain didn't, doesn't seem completely necessary. I think that would probably be a better card to win games with, um, with Atrocity that that way. So can this deck work in ranked? Maybe. I think it's I think it's probably just a downgrade from normal deep. You know, like your normal, uh, your normal deep because because like S Sat Magic, uh, Sat Magic Bayou Brunch. Those cards are probably worse than like what the normal deep decks playing. But with that being said, this deck's cooler and more fun. And I, I just, I mean, I love Shipwreck Order and Treasures. I think Shipwreck Order is just so much fun. And so having a deck built around Shipwreck Order or Treasures, I'm all about that. Um, this, honestly, like normal deep, deep should probably just be playing a lot more Shipwreck Order than what they are, to be honest. They really should. Slaughter Dox fits into regular deep very well. I think that's a three of in regular deep. I think Slaughter Dox is awesome. Uh, real impressed with that card. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Um, yeah, I was I was thinking it was going to be like too slow and everything from just reading it, but it plays really well like that. You know, you definitely want like a lot of tossing. But once, once you, you know, you get deep, like getting like a zero mana um, sea monster that's like a 7-7 seven, seven at the smallest you know, it's, it's just really powerful that's just put into play. But there we go. There's Tom Kench, Sea Monsters. Tom Kench uh, eating some seafood. Yeah. <laughs> we got some seafood is on the menu. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to uh, hit that like button or feel free to leave those comments as well. <laughs> Let me know what do you want to see next week for Meme Tier Monday. Anything about any of these decks or, or uh, you know, what have you been playing for that you've been having a lot of fun with? Any suggestions? Feel free to leave them. I will uh, take a look. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.